Hey guys, this is Christian here, and we got the BMW 4 Series 2021 430i. And this, just getting into some of the specs, this has 255 horsepower, 295 torque, 0 to 60 in 5.5 seconds. This is rear-wheel dri rear -wheel drive, there are, there are some all-wheel drive options. Uh, all of them come with an 8-speed automatic, though you can get a manual on the M4. And the other actual options besides the 430i is the 430i with xDrive, which is their all-wheel drive. There's the M44i with xDrive, again with all-wheel drive, the M4 and the M4 competition. And I know that's quite a lot, so I kind of just want to show it here on the screen and you kind of just pause the video and you can kind of just look, look at the specs, pricing, and you can see actually the competition brings it down to 4.8, or actually 3.8 seconds, 0 to 60, if you need that type of speed. But continuing along with the car, uh, some of the specs again are, it's right under 3,600 pounds, and of course it's a little different as you option it. Moving on to the exterior, so we got the Alpine White outside. It's actually not the Alpina White on anymore, unfortunately. We just call it the Alpine White. And then the interior, once we get there, it's actually a Takora Red, which is actually a pretty nice red. It's not too vibrant, and it's kind of like a nice balance of not too, I guess, like out there and all that. Uh, here we got the optional 19-inch rims. These are twin-spoke uh, jet black, basically like a glossy black. And these are optional. They're, I think, standard is 18-inch dual-spoke rims. And moving along to this side on the front here, we actually have the LED headlights here. Uh, there are some optional ones with the laser lights and all that. And we also have, this comes with the end package, which actually gives you like the bigger vents here. Normally it would just be maybe just like this corner over here. Or I'll show you here on the screen what it would normally look like with the, without the end package. And then we get to the infamous front that everyone's been talking about. And I know it's subjective, people dislike it a lot. Uh, I think it will grow on you, I think once you see it in person, and it looks better in my opinion in person or video or picture. Though, I, I do hear there are some third party plans to actually make this smaller and all that. Maybe make it look more like the 8 series. Uh, as for the dimensions of this car from its predecessor, this is actually 5 inches longer and it's actually 1 inch wider. Though this is 5 inches longer than its predecessor, it's still 3 inches shorter than the 8 series if you're wondering. And moving along here. Uh, we actually have the power foldable uh, mirrors and everything and they're actually also heated though and here in Los Angeles you probably won't take too much advantage of it just with how hot it is here. Up here we got the moonroof uh, made out of the glass of course and this one doesn't vent it also you can completely just slide it back if you need to so you can in a sense put your hand through it. Another thing that we have here is a tail fin. I know that's not the proper name that's usually what I call it and if you're ever wondering what it's for besides aerodynamics it's also where they usually keep the radio antenna or any other antennas that they need. And here that we're on the side, I quickly want to just show how to open the car. We'll show it again in the future. You just simply put your hand in, even on the passenger side, and you see the mirror caps uh, yeah, open up and all of that. And the reason I want to open them is just quickly to show you how to open the gas cap. You just got to have the car unlocked. Simply just push it in, opens, and that's it. And you just simply just close it. I just want to show that because I feel like sometimes these mirror caps are going to get tricky to open. Moving along to the back side, uh, we got the nice LED tail lights. Uh, big fan of these. I actually like that they're actually introducing them to like all their, the rest of their line. Maybe they're, people dislike them by like just how long and how they look, uh, as we'll probably show them uh, in the nighttime as well. I want to show the key now. Uh, get the key from my pocket. So, as you see, standard key. Got four buttons. On the side, you got the BMW colors. On the back, standard just plastic block and moving back to the key the front of the key we got the unlock button lock button uh, the trunk and the panic button as we're opening the trunk you can actually just use a button here or you can also just use the handle they have under the uh, basically on the trunk here and then the third option as I'll show you in a bit is also from the driver's side door so simply you're just gonna open this up opens up the trunk and all that and here we got 12 cubic feet of space. Compared to its competitors, it's a little smaller, though I kind of just like the entry that's very rectangular. And you do also have some storage on the sides, kind of like nice built-in like little cubbies, maybe you want to put your grocery bags or anything like that. And then you also have, if you move a little lower, you can actually see there's two little hooks on both sides in case you want to hook anything. And then you also have where you could actually drop the seat to the left and right side. And there's also the ski pass, and I'll show that when we get inside. And just for our trunk challenge, I want to just show myself inside the car. So I'm just going to kind of just appear there. And this is me inside the trunk. And I'm going to go back outside the trunk right now. And with Movie Magic, I'm back outside. And just for opening or closing the trunk, actually, 
Uh, you ha do have a $250 optional option where you can get the buttons here just to close the trunk with power, of course. If not, you gotta just manually close it, bring this down, and you do have to put your hands on the paint and you just like close it like that. And you do have your rear view camera here, just to kind of just mention that. And I did mention on the front, you do have your parking sensors all along the corners of the car or the front of the car. And those are these little circle things that you have here. And if you're ever wondering how they work, they actually just shoot like a, in a sense like a sound wave, depending on how long it takes to hit the object and bounce back, you can kind of figure out how far you are from a div uh, an object. Moving along back to the driver's side, uh, we actually have, I'll show you how to like lock and unlock the car. Right now that you see that it's locked with the mirrors. And to unlock it, you just simply just slip your fingers in, pocket, uh, not pocket, the keys in my pocket, and you simply just slip your fingers in and it'll unlock it. And if you want to lock it, you simply just walk away from the car once you get far enough. Or another option is you can also put your fingers along the three slits here and it'll just lock the car for you. Though, what I really like about this, and this is part of the convenience package, this is the, the, yeah, the keyless entry and as well as the lumbar support that we'll show you in a bit. And simply again, just to open it, just put your fingers on here, open it, and you open the long coupe door that you normally see. And we do have some controls here. Again, right now you see the Tacora Red here in the daylight, LA. And you do have obviously your usual mirror controls and side view controls. You also have your button over here to open up the trunk. And a final thing I want to mention, you do have uh, your memory uh, configuration for two people, either for you and your significant other, or maybe one of your friends you actually want to let borrow your 4 Series. Must be a good friend, I'd say. Uh, <laughs> Uh, another thing that we got here on the door sills, uh, this comes, I think this is part of the M package. It comes with the M badge here that you have, a little also like chrome here. And then as we see here, we actually see the lumbar. So you have your lumbar control, you got your seat adjustment, uh, this one too. And that ends that side. At, at this point, let's go back inside the car. Keeping that continuity for you guys, getting in the car. At this point, you see from the M package, you get the M steering wheel. You got your paddle shifters in case you want to go you know, have some fun with these. A uh, couple other things I want to mention on your dash, you have the standard dash here. It kind of looks like three screens. There's actually some depth to it. Though, if you do want it a little bit uh, bigger, there is the premium package or the executive package, which comes with uh, tons of other options. And that'll give you the 12.3 inch uh, dash. And at least for your center screen that you have here, which is touchscreen, 8.8 .8 inch, you could increase that into the 10.3 inch. A couple other things I want to mention here is you got your Prindle here. Uh, <laughs> I know it's not the Prindle again, but yeah. Uh, every time I see this, the BMW one, I always feel like I want to just like flip this open and like press a button here and shoot some rockets. I don't know, that's just me, my gamer side. You got, of course, your controls here in case you don't want to use a touchscreen and obviously your other, maybe you want to go from sport, comfort to eco and also start and stop the engine here. And then you also have your cup holders here. So getting into the Starbucks cup challenge that we're gonna have every time. Uh, I actually have a small cup here from Starbucks and just simply just pop this in and it fits nicely. And just in case maybe you want more coffee, you got a large one here, not the biggest one, but for most people this probably should be enough. And they use about the same standard, like uh, I guess like width of the cup at the bottom. And as you see, they both fit nicely. And just in case we got two large ones. Yeah, I love Starbucks, honestly. And they fit nicely. So yeah, pretty nice and everything. And just in case, Got that final challenge. I actually have my stainless steel water bottle. Pop this in. This one actually barely fits, though I feel like if you do have bigger ones, it probably will not fit. But fortunately enough, my custom one fits in here. You do have wireless charging in there. You can't see it here. You have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto as well. You got dual climate control in the front. There's also climate control in the back. Uh, tons of just, yeah, your AC controls and your voice and all that. And it does have a mechanical control here for your volume. Always nice to have in my opinion. Some more controls here, but I haven't mentioned them. Moving on to the center console, you could open it up here. You got some nice storage here, not too bad, honestly. Uh, you got a USB-C port there, a little light. And again, storage is pretty nice in my opinion. I'm gonna close this right now. I'm gonna step out of the car just to show you the back seats and all that. And just stepping out, so that you actually have a little handle here in the back, and you just simply move that forward, and the seat starts going forward and all that. And then I'm just gonna sit inside, Kind of just to show you me getting in. I'm inside now, I bring the seat back and then it's eventually gonna go back to that driver's position that I, that I had it at. And you actually see, my knee room is actually not that bad. Like I'm sitting where I would normally sit. 
it's pretty fine my head is like slightly just like touching the top so it might be if your friends are kind of tall maybe have him in the front or you have three tall friends it might ha be a little bit of a hassle but you should be fine for like shorter rides or for me at least i'm i'm quite fine here it's not too claustrophobic either kind of want to just move the seat forward just to give you a little more view and you have the side little window here not too bad doesn't feel too claustrophobic you got a little bit of storage here you have two USB-C ports back here and your climate control and then you also have what I like here is that some cars will usually put like a little bit of like plastic trim here though here you can actually just like you have this as space or bring this down for your arms or two extra cup holders you could also use this in case you're sitting in the front I'm gonna close these and then I'll show the ski pass open it here bring this down and you got your ski pass or maybe you're you're wealthy and maybe you have two by fours because yeah what is really pricey right now. I want to just show the safety features is come with the M package. So clicking on here, you have a couple options of how you want to keep them on or off, but just kind of just configure them to show you what is available. You do have, starting from the top, you have forward collision mitigation, which kind of just avoids hitting things in front of you. You got lane departure warnings and it also has steering intervention. So it will also steer you back into your lane. And then you also have active blind spot detection, which is yeah, detecting your blind spot on top of showing the little triangles on the side view mirrors. As for your driving modes, you have three here, Sport, Comfort, and Eco. And just to show them here on the screen as well, you got your Sport, or Sport actually. You got your Comfort, and you have your Eco Pro. Getting on with the drive, uh, speaking about the Comfort, it's quite comfortable. The seats are quite nice. I think my friend would probably say the same as well. Yes, sir. Very comfortable. Yeah, so it's probably fine, I'd say. Nice and comfortable. Again, you could fit your two friends as well in the back. Uh, the handling is quite nice. I'd say it's quite easy. It's not too, uh, I guess, not too strong like a sport car would be or not too soft. So it's quite nice balance. Again, you got the M package steering wheel, which is really nice to have. Getting on to the visibility, you have nice visibility in the front. It's actually the car is not too high, not too low. It's quite perfect, in my opinion. Uh, so your visibility on your side is quite nice. You don't have a big A pillar and then your B pillar is not big either. You also have your blind spot detection, as I mentioned, where you have a little triangle and it also just notify you in case you're about to go into that lane and there's someone there. Getting onto a quick launch here without launch control, I have it in sport mode. I wanted to show you that real quick. Yeah, quite nice, I'd say. I really do enjoy this. Uh, really manageable against like rear wheel drive but it's not too strong where it kind of kicks out kind of just keeps straight yeah this is quite a nice drive right now i'm going about like 40 ish uh, quite smooth this road's a little bumpy but it's not bad like it handles bumps and everything the sounds not bad maybe we're not in a rolls royce kind of quiet but at least for like a standard entry level luxury i quite like it as for my conclusion on the car, I quite like this car. If you're looking for a two-door and maybe you just need to fit like two friends or maybe every once in a while three or four friends, the back seats are quite doable. Uh, your friends shouldn't be too compact back there and they probably wouldn't be complaining. As long as it's not too tall, they'll probably be fine. The comfort's quite nice. The visibility is quite nice. Again, like I said, A pillars aren't an issue, the A or B or C pillar. Uh, your rear view visibility is not bad. Uh, not to, nothing to complain. AC works fine as you'd expect. The safety systems are nice to have, so I'd probably recommend the M package. I'd recommend the package where you get the bigger, either with a premium option or the executive option, which does come with a ton of other things, but it'll give you the bigger screen here in the center. And again, it's an 8.8 inch screen, touch screen. All right, guys, that ends the review for the BMW 4 Series 2021 430i. Hope you guys liked it. Again, this is an Alpine white to core red interior. Really a fan of that. And if you guys can like and subscribe, it helps me out a lot. And throw some comments down below. Maybe you have some suggestions, feedback. Maybe you prefer me wearing a hat or I don't know what you want me to do. Uh, maybe some other challenges besides the trunk challenge or the Starbucks cup challenge. I could check that out too. Or maybe there's some future cars you want me to look at. I can do that as well. But for now, till next time. Oop, made a little mistake there. Down, you do got to touch the paint a bit. And you kind of just bring it down and that's it. Shoot.